Hey folks, I'm Chris and I'm your Commander Mechanic, here with something a little different. We're going to be looking at an experimental theme build as part of what I might eventually do as a stream on an ongoing basis. Today we're going to be doing a theme build around the Marvel television series WandaVision. So be careful if you haven't watched it yet because there will be spoilers. Consider yourself warned. As a reminder, if you want to pick up any of the cards I talk about in this video, go check out our affiliates. Our Canadian affiliate, Harry Tarantula, where you can use the promo code CMDRMechanic at checkout, or our TCG Player affiliate link in the video description below. So we're going to be brewing a theme build around WandaVision. This mind-bending, reality-altering look at love and grief and supernatural powers. As a disclaimer, because this is a theme build, we may make some sacrifices in the power level category for the sake of themed inclusions. I strive to make all of my decks good, functional, and playable, but not necessarily powerful. Let's start by looking at our commanders. Naturally, we want a partner pairing here to represent our show's stars. Wanda needs to be red, not only to lean into her title as Scarlet Witch, but because she represents chaos and raw emotion, embodied by Red's core tenets. And this led me to Jessica, Thrice Reborn, a character that has, in Magic's lore, been through some shit just like Wanda has. But in addition, she's powerful, strong, and functions as a core representation of what we can do with this deck either start blasting with unrelenting power, or enable some of our other creatures to beat in for some more damage. Our second lead is Vision himself, the Metal Man. So I gravitated towards Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. An artifact creature himself, Silas also has Death Touch, a fun representation of Vision's ability to phase through objects destroying them. We can even let Silas slip through space to ensure he phases through opponents to reach out and touch someone. But wait, is Silas Vision? Or is Solemn Simulacrum? Or Duplicate? Uh, uh, Ship of Theseus! Naturally, our stars have to have a supporting cast too. We've got the twins Timmy and Tommy. Timmy, our junior spellcaster, represented by Urtai, Wizard Adept, and our quick little speedster Timmy played here by Arnie Brokenbrow on account of his quick feet and big mouth. And we can't forget Uncle Pietro, represented here very accurately by Valky, God of Lies, slash Tybalt, Cosmic Imposter. Seeing isn't always believing when you're working in a world of superpowers, witchcraft, and deceit. And wait, who's this? What? Oh no! It was Agatha all along! Here, our nosy neighbor and master manipulator is played by none other than Kess, Dissident Mage. This upstart seeks to steal the show not only with a badass theme song, but by casting spells in circles around our Wanda. That Agatha, such a scamp. So with our cast introduced, let's look at our game plan. Naturally, we're very spell heavy. A theme deck about a show based on a witch having an emotional breakdown? We have to fill this deck with spells. And we start with Spell Bombs. Not only a thematic choice, but one that works well with Silas Wren's ability to recast artifacts from the yard on combat damage. When we couple this with Vision's Secrets, the Secrets of the Dead, we turn combat damage with Silas Wren into a boatload of thematic value. We've also included a spell book in the deck because of course we can! along with a few talismans and other casting implements like a spellbinder. Agatha needs to keep Wanda in check somehow, right? We also have plenty of spells for wizard battles too, from spell shrivels to spell pierces to spell swindles, all aimed to keep us slinging spells and controlling the game. Just don't let Agatha spelljack you, or you'll face Wanda's warping whale if you fall into a chaos warp. Speaking of chaos, we can't let that be unrepresented here either. As the Scarlet Witch, Wanda has learned she's the embodiment of chaotic magics. Rather than muck up the game with a bunch of chaos effects, we've opted to include throws of chaos to show off Wanda's unpredictable nature. 
and naturally we've included representation of the whispering madness that led to Wanda's blasphemous act which caused her to animate dead. The wall of runes that she erected denies her victims the ability to see the truth. But as cursed by the Mind Stone as she is, Wanda's fierce guardianship of those she loves eventually leads her to dispel the idyllic illusions she created. Ending her time warp, Wanda leaves Agatha hexed to live out her life in her facade in the formerly warped landscape. This deck and theme was a blast to put together, and even with a lot of thematic choices, we had a strong basis for spell slinging and control heavy elements. A game plan that leans on value, value, value with recasting Jessica and recasting artifacts and spells from our graveyard with Silas and Kess. We use our efficient card draw and incentivize recasting Jessica with repeated uses of Jeweled Lotus to close out the game with inevitability through burn. I'd be really interested to hear what you think about this build and what you'd include in a WandaVision themed deck. Let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you enjoyed this theme build video and want to see me do live builds like this in the future via streaming. As always though folks, until next time, good luck and have fun.